In this video, we're going to describe the difference between an antibody test and a virus test when it comes to the coronavirus. First, let's draw a timeline at the bottom of this page. Second, we're going to draw a quantity line over on the left column. This quantity line is what we're going to use to determine the cutoff level and the amount of antibodies and the amount of virus that you have in your system. Let's first draw the curve that the virus will go through over a period of time. When you contract the virus, the amount of virus in your system grows until it reaches a peak, it plateaus, it decreases until you no longer have the virus. The reason that you don't have the virus is because your body is building up antibodies. Those antibodies grow relatively slowly at first, but like any exponential growth curve, increase rapidly at the end, and these level off. Once you have antibodies, very rarely do you use them, so you can keep them in perpetuity. For the purposes of demonstration, we're gonna set a cutoff point for the test. A cutoff point basically means that anything above this line of detection or has a higher quantity than this line will be positive, and anything below this line will be negative. So, this is the basic description of how laboratory testing works. Let's imagine that we do a test at this arbitrary point in time. Let's say it's five days from the day you contracted the virus. At this point in time, you will be positive for the virus. However, you'll be negative for the antibodies. This is because you're below the cutoff point. Basically, it's too early in the life cycle of this virus, and you haven't had enough time to build up the antibodies. Now, let's draw a testing line at this point. At this point, you're gonna be positive for the antibodies. You're also gonna be positive for the virus. This is an important point, because just because you have a positive on the antibody test does not mean that you're negative for the virus. It isn't until this point, and we estimate it's roughly two weeks, that you will be negative for the virus, positive for the antibodies. Okay, so what does all this mean, and when should you use each one of these tests? At this point, based on this cutoff line, this is the window of detection for the virus. Right here. This is the virus detection window. Now, this window right here is the window of detection for the antibodies. So we'll call this the antibody detection window. And this space right here is the space between positive for the antibodies as well as positive for the virus. Now, the important point in this is after this time period where the antibodies are positive and the virus is now negative, this is your all clear window. Now, you already have your antibodies, which means that you're not gonna be able to get the virus again, and you no longer have the virus, so you're no longer contagious. This is the point that you want to test 
for healthcare workers that deal with at-risk populations or your employees that might need to come back to work. So I hope this video is helpful.